The Challenges of Self-Building in the City, a new series of grand designs begins on Thursday exploring urban innovation. Kevin MacLeod will be here at 8. Crossing blurred lines next tonight, synths and humans too close for comfort as our gripping drama continues. Hi, I'm Corrie. I'm one of Channel 4's continuity announcers. It's a job which, on the surface, sounds simple enough. We just talk on the telly between the programmes, but actually it takes quite a lot to make that happen. It's a job that requires a fairly broad mix of skills. We're talking creative, technical, marketing, editorial, performance. And yes, we do get to watch a lot of television. And that's because we have to write our continuity links. And those links are designed to help the viewer to navigate the content across the portfolio. So the links that we write have to be concise and engaging and informative, and they have to reflect the channel brand and the audience demographic. And then we have to take into account regulatory requirements. So, for example, if a program contains strong language or scenes of animal slaughter, then we have to make sure that the message is clear, but that it's delivered in a way that doesn't put people off actually watching the programme. And then when we're on air, our tone of voice is very important. Again, it has to be in keeping with the content and with the type of messaging that we're delivering. So around comedy, it's all quite lighthearted and lovely and happy. We might even have a bit of a joke. But obviously around more serious programming, then more gravitas is required. Transmission is a fairly pressurised technical environment. We pre-record some of our continuity links, but a lot of it is still done live. And we operate a lot of the equipment ourselves and the schedules are meticulously planned down to the frame, in fact. But in transmission, things can go wrong. So if a programme falls off air, or if major news impacts on our schedules, then it's the announcer's job to stay calm and to keep the viewer informed. And we use open talkback. So we have to be able to talk while other people are counting and talking in the background. And obviously when things go wrong, then there's quite a lot of noise to contend with. So continuity is creative and it's fun and I love it, but it's not a glamorous job. You know, we work in little continuity booths, we work antisocial hours that can be weekends, evenings, sometimes even Christmas. But I love doing what I do and a big part of that for me is that I do it for this amazing broadcaster that challenges convention and stimulates debate. And I feel very privileged to be a voice of Channel 4.